Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are looking at the Iridescence album cover from Brockhampton which was released this week and the album is pretty good I must say. Uh, so yeah, this is the cover we're creating. It's basically like a thermal, um, thermal kind of predator vision, heat map. It's seen in quite a lot of things and I thought it'd be quite nice to tackle it considering I showed you how to do the last Brockhampton um, tutorial which was with the text that kind of was 3D but 2D at the same time. With this effect, I kind of think that maybe perhaps when they did it, they used an actual um, thermal camera just because it would have been easier to get the heat map and they probably got the production money to do it now and it makes sense to do it if you can do it the easy way but I'm going to show you the design motion graphics way because I can't afford a thermal camera I'm sure you can't afford a thermal camera so let's get into the tutorial and enjoy guys so let's get stuck in so basically what I've done is opened up an after effects composition uh, 1080 you know the old basics and what I'm doing at first is I'm going to show you doing it the image so if you want to import yourself an image, I've got a selfie that I took the other day and basically now all you want to do is separate your content from the background, so the foreground from the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask around myself. You could do this in Photoshop if you didn't want to do it in After Effects, sometimes that's easier. Uh, but if not, let's get on with this. So I'm just going to quickly skim through this. Oh yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. So now that we've uh, masked out our subject, uh, basically it's an easy mask. All you want to do is mask around, maybe add a feather, but that's all I'm going to do. So let's get on to the next stage, which is we want to create a new solid. So you right click here, new solid. And we're going to call this BG for background. And for now, I'm going to make it like a darkish, a nice dark blue. We're going to try and match that iridescent kind of vibe that's going on in the Brockhampton album cover. So maybe it's a bit too blue, but we'll change that later. So now you can kind of see the rough edges. So you do want to push, if you push F on the keyboard on your layer, it'll bring up your mass feather. I'm going to put that to about 10, soften those edges a bit. You know, if you want to do this properly, obviously you want to go through and make sure that my ears do not look like robotic, like square lines and, you know. So, once we've done that, the effect is really easy. You want to go to the effects panel and type in Colorama. And you want to apply that to your layer. Now that it's loaded, you can kind of see the effects working. So if we quickly get an example, if we get the image up of um, iridescence. So as you can see, the colors, if you look at the color palette here, we've got reds, greens, yellows, and blues, and like turquoisey. So you kind of want to match those colors in your um, After Effects project if you want to get the right tones. So if we get rid of the purples, we want kind of more Want more reds than than what that's given us off. Don't really want the oranges so yellows so much. Where's that image again? And also you can tell the colours are a little bit muted, but we can deal with that in a bit. So if we actually make this a white turn down the reds so you can kind of see it a bit quicker. The blue I'm thinking needs to be more of a red. So if I bring that down here, bring that up there, we'll start to uh, bring out the, the heat in the uh, skin. So you can also see that the uh, skin's got too much blue in it. If we get rid of that ad. So we only want a little bit of blue. So realistically, we want to pull that down. And then we want to add in a lighter shade here and then let's create this yellow let's make that a bit more green the image will obviously work better with like a, a nicer like I got my shirt on so it's kind of like projecting through the squares but it's a lot of like play with what you've got so 
you know, there's some yellows in there, so we want to kind of add in another triangle by just tapping and it will do that for us. If we bring this up, we can bring the brightness up. So there you go, you're starting to add in some more colours into the mix. And you just want to play with it until you've kind of got what you feel is correct. Um, so I feel like that blue up there is starting to... There we go. So this is kind of a bit more in terms of what the heat would look like if it was actually on a person. So you've got this big range. You can see where the range is changing. But yeah, that's basically the effect. You just want to apply that and then what you can do afterwards if you want to bring it down a little bit is bring in some levels. And you can just bring up the lightness of it a little bit just to create a little bit more it doesn't look as vibrant and then when it comes to the background you could easily just drag and drag and drop it onto onto your comp and then drag it in here go to where would we go to you want to go to character so if you bring character up you can pick whip so then I could just go that choose my color and then change it onto the background and that's the iridescence um that's the still anyway you just have to play around with it and make it as you wish now i'll show you how to do it in video format now for the video one basically what you want to do is import your footage into a new composition so let's do that i'm using old footage from uni or just after uni when i was doing a theresa may campaign yes it looks ridiculous doesn't it anyway so what you want to do is it's quite simple if you don't know how to do it then I may do a tutorial depending whether you want to do it there's quite a few tutorials out there on how to use roto brush but if any of you guys want to know how to do it let me know and I'll do it so you go up to here this little man click the roto brush I only want to use like I don't know three seconds of the footage so I'm just gonna go to three seconds I'm gonna push N on the keyboard to end the time and then I'm going to right click and trim comp. So now we're just working with this focused area. Now if we go to the beginning. What we want to do is grab the roto brush. And we want to double click on our layer. Which will then bring it up. And if we control click on the keyboard. You can bring the command click on a Mac. Sorry. You can bring the mouse up a bit bigger. And you basically want to draw over your subject, so that's what I'm going to do right now. So once you do that, the After Effects will start to pick up the layers that you know you want to roto. And basically, what you do, if you click on here, Refine Edge, you can then, if I make the brush a bit smaller, you can draw over the edge so it knows what the edge is. It's like edge detection, basically. Oh, I kind of missed the edge there, but anyway. So once you've done that, we'll turn off the things so we can see a bit better. And we want to just go forwards in the frames. So that's if we go, if we push keyframe to the right, you'll start to see that it starts to render out your frames and it will track it. So let's just do, just for time's sake, let's just do 10 seconds, 10 frames of movement. Then what you want to do is click this freeze button here click that and that will make sure that no changes happen to your roto and now if we go back into our composition it's cut out our subject and it is video footage so that's how you use the roto brush that's practically the roto brush tutorial actually if you want to know but if you want to go in depth let me know so once you've done that it's the same as before guys if we go into our other thing pull in the colorama and the levels copy and paste it onto our thing here and there you go we've got it done as you can see there's some edge issues here that's to do with the um, refine edge tool so you could like smooth that out with the controls here I think that would help it a little bit yeah see if you start playing with these smooths um, bring the feather up a little bit and then shift the edge inwards to be fair you couldn't you don't, sometimes you don't even need to put on it so I'm going to put uh, more detailed. 
see they're starting to get rid of it a bit now but it's just a bit play with it but if you play with the um edge blending and everything like that and get a nice roto you can stop this color effect happening to the edges but yeah that's the tutorial guys so i hope you guys enjoyed it so guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial it's quite an easy one really uh, the hardest part is the roto with the motion graphics but once you know how to roto in after effects it's actually quite uh it's quite fun your computer might be a bit slow but you know just bear with it and eventually you'll get what you need but yeah guys hope you enjoyed it be sure to hit that like button subscribe and you know tune in for the next week anyway guys peace out peace